a lot of multi uh, activities out there. So I think oh, oh. I, I wouldn't even have, <laughs> I wouldn't even have agreed on whatever it is. Hmm. Now uh, you know a very a very you know uh, uh, you know the, uh, shocking uh, uh, you know fact right there is that twenty thousand learners fell pregnant in the year twenty fourteen. Hmm. Now the Department of Basic Education has recorded that at least twenty thousand learner pregnancies last year. Now with the ministry saying at least two hundred and twenty three of those came from primary schools. So you can think about it, you know. And uh, I know Dugza is coming through between uh, just about this time and 10 p.m. And I'm going to ask him as well that as a father, and how would you feel if, you know, uh, your teenage daughter or your teenage sister is actually pregnant? Because, I mean, this law is saying, look, uh, as a 12-year-old, as a 14-year-old, you, you, I mean, you've got a choice, you know. Uh, you've got a choice of, you know, using a choice at that time. You know, <laughs> you know, you know uh, Mr. Karakara, I have to say this. Uh, putting a responsibility on the parents and the child mm -hmm. to say now they must begin to educate and be more close and so on and so forth. In the current setup of South Africa, we need to look at the past that we are having. Mm -hmm. They say kids must be more close to their parents, but yes. I will tell you this, those who are born between 1970 to 80, between those years, I, I, I mean, there is a reality that we are dealing with, of which is still a reality today. We are, we are still having the artifacts of uh, migrant workers whereby I have a family in Pretoria, but I'm working in Devon. How do I become close with my child in that instant? Via WhatsApp, Facebook, will I be able to monitor the situation? Let's speak about now. I mean, we, we are here, we are working now. Exactly, and your child is at home having the, 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 the house to, 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 to him or herself. So we need to really look at some of the realities. Then now we need the law that will assist us to be able to grow our kids so that if anything was wrong was to happen, we put even the state in responsibility to enforce the law. But currently, we see uh, people disowning the reality of um, what, what I can call collective social responsibility or corporate social responsibility mm -hmm. to raise the child in a better way. And I'm, I, I mean, I must say this without fear of being judged in any how. No, after, all, after all, Africa is one to be known as a radical and revolutionary thinker. These judgments were made by people like Judge Pierre Rabi. Mm -hmm. who is a white man detached from the black society realities. Mm -hmm. And we need to really go to where he stays and the reality he's facing. Believe you me, when we look at the decision he made and the implication to his children, and going down to the child who's an orphan in the township, the reality the can be the yeah, same. The child who grew up just like me, the child... Exactly, who, know, a single parent, a child who is... You know, such kind of realities, you must look at them. Even these parliamentarians, mm -hmm. we must look at the reality of them. Those 401 sitting, they're talking about the demand and the nonsense that they're talking about mm -hmm. all the time. Let's t tell the truth. They are having all the resources at their disposal so that they can grow their kids in a better way and to take them to better schools and offer them a better environment. Mm -hmm. What about that one? Who is in a neighborhood of a shack, that shack cannot be locked at night. And the child can do any other thing. And we need, all, look, all and, and, and I want to differ with what my sister said. Is the law, is the law, is the law. No, the law can't just be the law. We need to revoke some of the laws. We need the lobby groups. You know, we need the Protestant churches. The churches that will stand, the pastors who will stand, and not just change snake into chocolate. Yeah, and yeah. fight this kind of the system. And be able to op to be opinionated enough to advance it forward and take the offering money not to buy expensive clothes but to challenge the loss of the system and take them to court as well because honestly speaking we can't be sitting with some laws without lobbying against them and advocating against them oh my word i wish uh, we had more time and i think it, uh, it's actually burning in studio and uh, level one to level she wants to cry. I'm like, no. I can't believe this is happening. She, okay. she, she just said, no, you feel no, no, that. That sounds so sweet. That, uh, no, no, I, I no, 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 let me, before to, Lebu speak, uh, no, Lebu said something to, differ, to me, you know. I want to differ with Africa. <laughs> He is saying uh, he's different with me. It's fine. But to be honest, we like avoiding stuff like this. This law, okay, uh, we just heard about the law now, but it was here before we even hear about it. Let's be honest. No, no, no. Currently, I think the challenge is not on whether when did it arrive. It's about is, no, is it's it about right or wrong? It's no, the law. Need... It's law. It's just like that. I okay, mean, really. we're, we're going to take a quick, uh, you know, uh, uh, advertisement. Look, before we allow Africa to come and bless us with uh, uh, closing lines, closing arguments that have uh, that will go hand in hand with uh, you know the motivation. And here, the Air Force One. Or, uh, what can we expect today? Previously on Air Force One. I'm sure you've heard.